Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. They said it could not be done, but we held on to our hope. The HTC HD2 can now run Windows Phone 7. Seriously, let's take a look. So this is thanks to the Dark Forces team. It takes a few steps to get this working, but when you get it working, it works great. Let's show it to you uh, from beginning to end here. So we're gonna start up the HD2 and just hold down the start button and it's gonna kinda go through a bunch of different screens. It's going to go through a special bootloader and it's actually gonna go into Windows Phone 7 faster than it will go into any other operating system. And this device, the HD2, is turning out to be probably the most versatile device on the planet. You can run Android on this, Windows Mobile, or Windows Phone 7. You can also run Mego, Ubuntu, other operating systems that are Linux based. It's a really, it's really an, an amazing device. So here you have it, Windows Phone 7. It's working in full glory. This is literally Windows Phone 7 on the HTC HD2. Now you may be wondering, how do the buttons work since Windows Phone 7 devices require those three buttons and here on the HD2, we have five. Well, here is how it works. The button on the right here is power standby, so it turns off the device, obviously. We'll slide that up. Performance is very good, by the way. The back button is still the back button. The start button goes to the start screen, so if we go to the calendar and we hit the start button, it's gonna go back to the start screen. The button here, the home button, is actually the search button, so it's gonna bring up the Bing application here. And let's go back to the start screen. And if we, if we tap on the call start button, Pretty cool, it's actually gonna just take you right into the camera since all Windows Phone 7 devices have to have a dedicated camera button. So could you use this as your full-time operating system? The answer is yes. There are some things that don't work, but there's a lot of things that do work. You can make calls, you can go on the web, you can use Wi-Fi, you can use Bluetooth. In fact, let's take a little tour of what you can do here, then we'll talk about what you can't do. So we'll go into Internet Explorer here, and it's it's really amazing for us to, to see this because a while ago when Windows Phone 7 was announced, there was so much speculation on whether this would actually work on the HD2 among other devices. Most people said no, but after many, many months, we finally have it here. So here's pocketnow.com. We are, got some noise going on outside. We are loading this over, over Wi-Fi. Although you can see I've got full bars on my, my cell phone signal. We can go into landscape. Performance is as good as it is, it seems, as an HD7 or the Samsung Focus. I mean, it works, it works just the same. It's, there's no other way of explaining it than that. So here we're loading pocketnow.com. And if we go back into portrait, we can open up multiple tabs and sort of click around and do that sort of thing. So let's go back to the start screen and move around more. You saw it before the camera, so I'm gonna go back into it again. So we can take a picture of the the wood here. So there you go. Got the same same photo features as you have in Windows Phone 7 on any other device. You can swipe to the right, get the basic built-in applications. You can sync this up with your email. You can send text messages, go into the calculator. Um, it works. If we go into, I keep hitting the home button thinking that it's gonna take me home, but it actually takes you to the Bing application. Maps works just fine, so you can find yourself. Um, it would allow Bing to use my, my location. And yeah, it's, it's working, there you go. There's my location. So what doesn't work on here? Well, anything that requires a synchronization or communication with Microsoft's cloud. So uh, the, the app marketplace, unfortunately, does not work. You plug in your Windows Live ID and it says, we can't activate your device. So that means also that Zoom doesn't work, the Xbox features don't work. Uh, so hopefully in the future that those things are fixed because those are pretty important to the core experience of Windows Phone 7. But if you're trying to just get a feel for Windows Phone 7 uh, on your HD2 and use all the basic features plus email and calls and text messages, this works just great. We're going to post full instructions on pocketnow.com on how to do this. It only takes about 10 minutes. Uh, if you know how to do a few things, it will make it easy for you. But really, really, really exciting news that Windows Phone 7 finally is on the HTC HD2. It's a good thing to have hope. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.